everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about vitamin D test and its report. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is vitamin D. Vitamin D is a nutrition that is essential for healthy bones and teeth. There are two forms of vitamin D that are important for nutrition that is vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 mainly comes from food such as cereals, milk and other dairy products. Vitamin D3 is made by our own body when exposed to the sunlight. It is said to be found in some food items such as eggs and fatty fish. In our blood, vitamin D2 and D3 are changed into the form called as 25-hydroxy vitamin D. This test measures the level of 25-hydroxy vitamin D in our blood. Abnormal levels of vitamin D may indicate problems such as bone disorders, organ damage and other medical conditions. Now let us see what is this test used for. This test is used to monitor or screen bone diseases or disorders. It is also used to check levels of vitamin D in certain chronic conditions such as psoriasis, asthma and other autoimmune diseases. Now let us see why you may need this test. Your doctor may order this test if you have any signs or symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. These symptoms may include bone malformation, bone weakness, bone softness and bone fracture. You may also need this test if you are at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency. These risk factors include being obese, having a dark complexion, not having enough exposure to the sunlight, previous gastric bypass surgery, and having osteoporosis. Sometimes, breastfed babies are also at higher risk of vitamin D deficiency if not taking supplements. Now, let us see what happens during the test. For this test, a small sample of blood is collected from the vein of your arm. The sample is then sent to the lab. The results usually take two to three days depending on the lab. So, do you need any preparations for this test? As this test is very simple and very quick, no preparations are needed. So, are there any risks to the test? There are almost no risks to this test, but make sure the area is well cleaned and the needle is sterilized. Now, let's talk about the results. What do the results mean? If the value in test report is anything between 30 nanomole per liter to 50 nanomole per liter, then it means there is a potential deficiency. Now, let's talk about the normal ranges. If the value in the test report is anything between 50 nanomole per liter to 125 nanomole per liter, it is considered normal. And if the value is higher than 125 nanomole per liter, it is considered high. So if the results show that the value of vitamin D is low, it means there is a deficiency of vitamin D, which may indicate that you are not having enough exposure to the sunlight, or you are not getting enough vitamin D in your diet, or your body is unable to digest vitamin D from the food, which indicates to another condition related to kidneys or liver. If the results show higher values, it means there is much more vitamin D in your body than needed. Having higher vitamin D levels is also not good for the body as it may damage organs and blood vessels. If the levels of vitamin D are low, the doctor might ask you to take some vitamin D supplements. And if the value is higher, you might need to stop taking vitamin D supplements. Also, it's very important for you to talk to your doctor before starting any medication or supplement and also while you stop. A quick reminder, it's necessary to take tests from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.